Ever wondered about the hidden tales within the pages of ancient scriptures? Join us on a captivating journey as we unravel the stories of Ismael and Israel, two enigmatic figures from the Bible whose significance echoes through the corridors of history. Get ready to delve into a lineage and symbols that have shaped the narrative of humanity. Buckle up for a fascinating exploration of the 12 tribes of Ismael and Israel, where each symbol carries a profound tale and every name weaves a thread in the rich tapestry of human existence. But first, subscribe to our channel and support us in making more videos like this. The tribes of Israel, descendants of Jacob, the key Jewish patriarch, trace their lineage from Abraham through his son Isaac and grandson Jacob. Jacob, a man with four wives, Rachel, Leah, Bilhah, and Zilpah, was the patriarch of 13 children, including 12 sons, who gave rise to the 12 tribes of Israel. Let's start our exploration with the firstborn, Reuben. In the symbolic depiction, a circle embraces the 12 tribes, with the menorah at the center, an ancient candlestick from the temple in Jerusalem, a beacon illuminating the history of Israel. Above all, the tribe of Reuben stands, its symbol resembling a sun, a representation of mandrakes mentioned in Genesis 30:14 a tale of fertility and birth. Moving forward, let's unravel the symbolism of Judah, a name that means praise in Hebrew. The tribe's iconic lion is not just a symbol, but a prophecy, foretold by Jacob in Genesis. Judah, likened to a young lion, became a symbol of strength and leadership, a lineage that produced illustrious figures like King David and King Solomon, shaping the destiny of Israel. Venturing into the lineage of Leah, we encounter Simeon, symbolized by towers and walls. The association dates back to the tribe's role in the destruction of the city of Shechem. However, as time unfolded, the tribe of Simeon merged into the larger tribe of Judah, leaving a historical imprint on the land. Levi, another son of Leah, holds a unique position among the tribes. Chosen for sacred services, the Levites, particularly the family of Cohen, served as priests in the Temple of Jerusalem. Despite lacking a territorial inheritance, their symbol, the High Priest's breastplate, reflects their spiritual significance in connecting the people to God. Zebulun, a son of Leah, is associated with the sea, depicted by a boat. Their prowess in conquering their territory near the seas earned them the symbolic representation of a seafaring vessel, reflecting their strength as warriors and fighters. Now, let's turn our gaze to Rachel's sons. Joseph, symbolized by sheaves of wheat, had visions that led to the splitting of his tribe into Manasseh and Ephraim. Benjamin, the son of Rachel, is represented by a wolf, a reference to being the son of the right hand. Despite having one of the smallest territories, the tribe of Benjamin was destined to hold Jerusalem, a city with historical significance. Moving on to Bilhah's sons, we encounter Dan, symbolized by scales and a snake. Known for their role in administering justice, the tribe of Dan also faced challenges in conquering their allotted territory, leading to a relocation to the far north of Israel. Naphtali, son of Bilhah, symbolized by a gazelle, thrived in a strategically vital region near the Sea of Galilee. Their expertise in astronomy played a crucial role in the lunar calendar, influencing the biblical festivals that continue to shape the Jewish world. Lastly, Zilpah's sons include Gad, symbolized by a tent, reflecting their nomadic lifestyle. Occupying the region known as Gilead, east of the Jordan River, their story intertwines with the fortune of the tribe. Asher, another son of Zilpah, finds happiness and blessings as their namesake suggests. The olive tree, symbolizing abundance and prosperity, captures the essence of Asher's blessings. Diving deeper into the intricate web of tribes, we encounter Manasseh and Ephraim, the two branches that sprouted from the tribe of Joseph. Their journey illustrates the fluidity of history, where one tribe can bifurcate into two, each with its unique destiny. The sheaves of wheat, symbolizing Joseph, connect to visions and dreams that transcend individual narratives shaping the collective destiny of a people. 
the history of the twelve tribes of Israel is deeply intertwined with the narratives presented in the Bible, specifically in the books of Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, and Joshua. Here are some key historical aspects related to these tribes. 1. Exodus and Wanderings The Exodus marks the Israelites' liberation from Egyptian slavery under Moses. Their 40-year wilderness journey recounted in the book of Exodus is characterized by divine interventions, the giving of the Ten Commandments, and the construction of the Ark of the Covenant. 2. Division of the Promised Land Following their wilderness journey, the Israelites, under the leadership of Joshua, conquered the Promised Land. The division of the land among the twelve tribes, as detailed in the book of Joshua, fulfilled the covenant promise made to Abraham. 3. Judges Period. The period of the Judges, detailed in the Book of Judges, portrays a cyclical pattern of disobedience, oppression, repentance, and deliverance. Various leaders, or judges, emerged to guide the tribes during times of crisis, maintaining a semblance of unity. 4. United Monarchy The United Monarchy, led by Saul, David, and Solomon, brought together the tribes under a central authority. Jerusalem became the capital and Solomon's construction of the temple marked a peak in Israel's political and religious influence. The division into northern and southern kingdoms. Post-Solomon, the kingdom was divided into the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judah. Political and religious differences led to this separation, setting the stage for distinct historical trajectories for the ten northern tribes and the tribes of Judah and Benjamin. The history of the twelve tribes is intricati, shaped by migrations, conflicts, and the complexities of ancient geopolitics. While their tribal distinctions played a crucial role in the earlier narrative, over time, a broader Jewish identity emerged, encompassing the shared heritage of the entire people. Share your thoughts with us, and let me know about today's topic in the video below.